Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good morning and assalamu alaikum to all my lovely students of class 5. This is your teacher, Ms. Zunayra, and today we are back with another revision lecture. So class, as you know that we have completed all the chapters which are included in final term and we started learning the chapters one by one. We, are, we started repeating the chapters one by one. Today, again, we are going to repeat another chapter that is uh, climate of Pakistan. That would be the last and that was the last chapter of our final term. And this is your revision class. So I want students to participate as much as possible. So this, uh, this chapter was your chapter number five. Before this chapter, we had covered four chapters, including sources of energy, longitude and latitude, looking at the land and great moguls. The fifth one was the climate of Pakistan. Okay, so it is on page number 16. Now you do not need to open your book because uh, what I think that you people are just trained for this chapter. I, I I hope that all the students know the answers or the information in this chapter on their fingertips as we have done it again and again. We have done it in the physical classes. We have repeated it in virtual classes as well. Okay, so this is the revision of a revision because this is the second or the third time we are revising this chapter. So beta, this chapter belongs to the uh, to the section of geography. In geography, we uh, basically study about the earth, the, the world, their um, uh, distribution of the things, their land, these kind of things we are supposed to study in such chapters which are included in geography. So if we talk about this chapter, so this chapter starts with the, as the name is climate of Pakistan. The name is climate of Pakistan. So before understanding the climate, we need to understand the weather. We need to understand the weather, right? So weather is something which is very important and which is very easy. I know that all the students are having this uh, the plot regarding uh, weather in their minds, but sometimes students get confused while telling uh, telling the answer or describing the weather. So we need to know the difference between climate and weather. These things are uh, are the things which seem similar, but they are different from one another. So we need to know their key difference. So here comes the definition of weather and climate plus their comparison. So if we talk about the weather, that is temporary condition of atmosphere at a place, that is temporary. This is this word is very important over here. Okay, this word is very <clears throat> important. Hmm, okay, okay, very good. Students are telling me the answer in the chat box. I'm glad to see that. But Vita, I want you to be active. I would unmute you and you will be telling me the answer. Okay, just listen to me first. Okay. So, okay, but this is very important that <clears throat> weather is something which is temporary condition of the atmosphere at a place. <clears throat> when it comes on the climate, climate is the overall average weather condition at a place over a long period of time. Okay, but all right, this is very important and this is very easy, I guess. So there is nothing which is uh, difficult in this definition. The weather is the temporary condition, climate is the overall condition or the overall average weather condition. So uh, as, we, as we just said that weather is temporary, so it can be changed at any moment. It can be changed at any moment. For example, cloudy, sunny, and uh, rainy, these all come in the category of weather, okay? But we do not say that the climate of Pakistan is cloudy. No, this is not right. This is wrong. 
because uh, here we cannot say that the climate of pakistan is rainy no rainy <clears throat> rainy snowy and uh, cloudy these are the terms that we use with the weather not the climate so basically when we talk about the climate we talk about the average weather condition average brings all the things in one category so we would be we would be looking at this thing that either we are having the hot climate or the cold climate or the moderate climate right so i want someone to explain it yes i want any student i want some of the students to tell me the difference of weather and climate we just discussed right now so the turn goes to khizra yes khizra unmute yourself and tell me the definition of weather and climate and their difference assalamualaikum wa alaikum assalam beta assalamualaikum Waalaikum assalam. The first name given to the end of the sentence are where the name given to the changing position of the proper sound chart. Okay, it looks like you are telling the right answer. The answer is correct. But your answer is correct. But your voice is not clear at all. Okay. But I know that you know the answer. Yes, Raj. The turn goes to you. Miss. Yes, Peter. The first, the first, and the important uh, uh, difference between weather and climate is that the weather is the short uh, takes a short time of period to change, okay, and climate good. takes long time of period to change. Okay, very good, very good, excellent. Yes, I want Maham to tell me the difference or the definition of weather and climate. Weather is a daily changing condition of an atmosphere okay. is an area. Mm -hmm. Climate is an average weather condition over a long period of a time. Very good. Okay, now me. Weather is a and change the. Yes, uh, the turn goes to Malahin. Yes, miss. Yes, but tell me the difference of weather and climate. Miss, the difference between weather and climate is that the weather is the temporary condition of the atmosphere at a place, and the climate is the overall average weather at a place over a long period of time. Very good. So I think all the students Thank know you. the answer of this thing because this is so. easy and we have discussed it again and again many times we have discussed it i want any boy to answer me yes i'm going to unmute mm. ali bin salman yes beta ali tell me the definition of either uh, weather or climate dono mein se ek koi definition bata de weather is the uh sorry but uh, yes i have given you the access again accept it yes it is the short period of time okay it can change at any moment okay very good climate hmm? climate is the over of overall average period of time okay Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, class. So we are going ahead now. What we are going to see the next? We are going to see the next. How can we measure weather conditions? Yes. Who's going to answer me this question? How can we measure? How can we measure weather conditions? How can we measure weather conditions? Elsa can you please tell me that how can we measure the weather conditions Elsa can you please tell me how can we measure 
the weather condition are there some instruments with which we can measure it miss we can measure weather condition by rain gauge okay. barometer hmm. thermometer hmm very good and and other instruments you can see okay okay meet yourself and the turn goes to taha yes taha answer me the same question we can measure the weather conditions by thermometer or rain gauge barometer and other instruments as well and other instruments why we are saying this because uh, if we say if we take these three names that is indicating that there is no other instrument so we need to say that and other instruments it means the weather conditions are not same sometimes we measure the pressure sometimes we measure the temperature sometimes we measure the humidity so there are many factors in the climate in the weather conditions so there are different instruments for measuring the different uh, factors right so we need to say that and other instruments as well so here comes the name of some of the weather instruments that includes thermometer rain gauge wind vane anemometer barometer i told you the function of these separately as well that thermometer is used for the temperature rain gauge is used to measure that uh, uh the rain and the wind vane is used to see the direction of the wind uh, wind and anemometer is used to see the speed of wind barometer is for air pressure so let's go ahead so here comes another question what is climatology what is climatology that was very easy i want someone to answer me hamna i want you to answer me that what is climatology hamna osaf yes beta what is climatology study of climate is called climatology okay study of climate is called climatology can you please tell me the definition which is like um which is in your book or can you please explain it further that what kind of study how do we study it what kind of things we study in terms of the climate Hamna, can you please tell me yes or no? Remember. Speak aloud. Today you are very slow. Your voice is very slow. Otherwise, you speak properly. Okay, so. <clears throat> yes iraj iraj yes yes beta yes ma'am tell me what is climatology and please explain it a bit tell me what is climatology into two to three lines don't say that is only the study yes. of climate that is so simple just explain it or elaborate it so basically it is the systematic collection and analysis of data of climate in its study called climatology <clears throat> what kind of things we study in climatology systematic collection this is systematic collection in which we see many of the things like uh, temperature and we analyze them in different aspects we collect the data and then we come to any conclusion so this is how the study of climate is made 
okay this is not the simplest study climate is a vast subject and the study is called climatology what are the main factors that affect the climate of a particular place is there anyone who wants to tell me that what are the main factors that affect the climate of a particular place malahim can you please tell me what are the main factors that affect the climate of a place you can tell me one or two yes, or all ma'am yes miss miss distance from the sea distance from the equator and how the above level sea it is how how high above sea level it is very good so beta uh, apart from these three factors there are number of the factors that affect the climate of uh, of a particular place but according to our syllabus according to our book we need to know at least three factors which are enlisted in our book that is distance from equator height above the sea level and distance from the sea so here comes the factors that affect the climate of a particular place how does distance from the equator affect the climate so here you can see that these are the sun rays <clears throat> what are these these are the sun rays we can see over here that the sun is directly striking on the earth near uh, on the equator so equator is the place which receives the highest amount of sun rays or the sun rays which are very very you can say that with great intensity and the areas which are on the poles which are on the north pole and the south pole they receive less amount of the sunlight compared as compared to the equator so different parts of the earth receive different amounts of the solar radiation this is because the sun rays strike the earth surface most directly at the equator as you move away from the equator this is the equator we know that the, this midwin line that is a kind of line of latitude if we go away from the equator so basically the sun rays which are striking here is going to be less so the climate would be uh, climate would be having the decreased temperature so as we move away from the equator you will notice that the areas also received uh, sorry you will notice that the different areas also receive different amounts of the sunlight in different seasons and if we see the distance from sea sea exerts a moderating influence on the climate this is so simple this looks difficult but this is the thing which is very simple see beta sea exerts a moderating influence on climate it means if the climate is having the climate is hot so sea will cool it down if the climate is cool or cold so the sea will make it a bit hotter or will be moderating it so that is why we say that it is having the moderating influence on the climate we can take the example of <clears throat> sakhar and we can take the example of karachi so if we compare the temperature of karachi and sakhar so we'll be find we'll be finding the temperature of sakhar will be higher than the temperature of karachi why because karachi is a coastal city that is having the contact with sea so that sea is moderating our climate that sea does not allow our climate or our temperature to exceed beyond the limitation that moderates the climate okay so this is how it uh, moderates the climate moderating influence of of the sea decreases if the place is located away from the sea then the moderating influence of the sea decreases that is why in karachi uh, we can uh, observe this thing that we do not face the like a cold region sorry cold season and the hot season comparatively uh, if we compare the season with the other cities okay khizra is saying ye beach bahut pyara hai acha do you want to visit it okay this one beach 
फिज टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस वन बीच ही बहुत प्यारा है एंड शी वॉन्ट्स टू विजिट हेयर ओके सो द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट वॉज द हाइट अब सी लेवल दैट वी सिंपली कॉल एज अल्टीट्यूड अल्टीट्यूड इज नोन एज द हाइट एंड इट इज ऑफन यूज टू रेफर टू द हाइट अब द सी लेवल सो इफ वी गो टू द सर्टन हाइट द टेम्परेचर फॉल्स द टेम्परेचर डिक्रीजेस so we know that temperature is a kind of thing which is included in the climate so if we go to the certain height so the temperature would be decreased and that temperature would make that area which is on altitude that uh, temperature would uh, would make it cool right if we talk about the pakistan so in pakistan we know that pakistan is having the diverse climate it means some of the areas are uh, having the hot climate some of the areas are having the cold climate and some of the areas especially the coastal areas are having the moderate climate right <clears throat> so the balochistan and northern regions which are the mountainous ranges right so they are uh, cold or cooler than the areas which are uh, in sin and punjab why it is so because the balochistan and the northern areas are on the height so if we go to the height temperature decreases this is the reason that uh, our northern areas usually receive the snowfall as well and we hardly receive the rainfall right so here you can see another example where you can see that the top of the mountain is covered with snow why it is covered with snow because it is on the height this is the peak we know that the highest point of the la- uh, of the mountain is called peak peak is having the lowest temperature the temperature falls here that is why sometimes or usually we'll find the tops or the peaks of the mountains covered with snow what is the climate of kenya and egypt explain with reason is there anyone who can tell me that what is the Okay, beta. Is there any student who wants to tell me the answer of this question? What is the climate of Egypt? What is the climate of Canada? Arej, beta, can you please tell me what is the climate of Egypt and Canada? How can we compare it? Which one uh, country is having the cold region or the cold climate, and which one is having the hot climate? Miss Canada is having cold and a cold climate, and Egypt is having hot climate. Is there any reason? you are right you have given yes, me the, yes. uh, the, the answer correctly yes canada is having the cold climate and egypt is having the hot climate but what is the reason behind it miss the reason is that egypt is uh, near to equator and okay. uh, canada is not near to equator very good i'm so impressed with your answer beta thank you and good very good excellent yes so iraj has told us the correct answer okay the main difference <clears throat> the main difference you can find over here is the distance from the equator so egypt is on the dist- uh, on the equator so that is hot and canada is far away from the equator so that is cold okay this is very simple now uh, what is the position of pakistan on the world map and what do you know about the climate of pakistan position of pakistan on the world map we are going to see now that is so easy so here you can see three of the lines uh, the tropic of cancer equator tropic of capricorn <clears throat> these three lines are the lines of longitude or latitude let me know in the chat box fast are these the lines of longitude or latitude are these the lines of longitude or latitude come on 
Hurry up, hurry up. Tell me in the chat box. Tropic of Capricorn, Tropic of Cancer and Equator. Are these the lines of longitude or latitude? Are these horizontal or vertical? <clears throat> you must know that these are the lines of latitude. Why? Because they are horizontal. They are not vertical. They are not vertical. They are horizontal. They are going from east to west and west to east. So these lines are the lines of latitude, not the longitude. The longitude are longitude lines come from the south or north. They are vertical in direction. Now here, if we talk about the position of Pakistan here, the highlighted line is the Tropic of Cancer. This green area is showing you the India. And with India, we know that Pakistan is connected, right? So Pakistan is near to the equator. This one line is the equator. You can see over here, it's a bit blur, but I think you can see this is the equator and if we go above the equator we'll find this red one line that is tropic of cancer so pakistan is near to the equator on the tropic of cancer it if it would be on the equator exactly so it would be as hot as egypt but it is not as hot as hot as egypt because it is not on the equator it is near the equator it is near the equator, but on the Tropic of Cancer, which is a bit far away from equator, right? So these all are the lines of latitude. So here you can see that this dotted line is showing you the Tropic of Cancer. And this filled area with orange color is showing you the Pakistan. Now you can see that how close it is with line of Mm, tropic of Cancer. Pakistan is located near the equator on the Tropic of Cancer, which is line of latitude. Yes, Bita, Khizra, apne sahi bataya. Bohat sari students ne mujhe sahi bataya. Okay, now here comes in summer. Now we need to know what is the climate. On previous slide, we have seen the position of the Pakistan. We know that it is near the equator on the Tropic of Cancer. Right now we need to know that what is the climate and in the beginning I told you that Pakistan is having the diverse climate. The word diverse is indicating that we are not having one kind of climate. We are having the variable climates. The climate varies in different cities of Pakistan and usually in summer Pakistan has monsoon. Monsoon brings rainfall to some areas of Pakistan. So, monsoon is nothing but the rainy season. Now, here comes the Jacobabad. Jacobabad is a city or district. District, and if we talk about the Sibbi, that is also a city and district. Division, sorry, division it is. It is division, right? So these two are the country, these two are the cities which are among the hottest places of the world. They are not just the hottest places of the Pakistan only, they are among the hottest places of the world. Now you can see that Sibi and Jakbabad are among the hottest regions, are among the hottest places, and northern regions, uh, Murray, these kind of areas receive snowfall so how diverse it is so the pakistan clim the climate of pakistan is diverse jack babad and sibi are among the hottest places of the world and if we talk about the northern mountainous regions and balochistan are extremely cold this is your book page okay and i want someone to read it out Maham, I want you to read out from the beginning.
Yes, Taha, I want you to read out first and second paragraph. In the previous classes, you have read about the weather. Weather uh, is the name given to the changing conditions of the atmosphere which surrounds the earth. These, these conditions include wind, storm, rain, snow, sunshine, and cool temperature. As for instance, we say that the weather on a particular day is cool, calm, dry, cloudy, or rainy, but these conditions of weather are temporary and may change at any moment. Read out the second paragraph. The average weather condition on in an area over a long period of time are called climate. We can and measure the weather conditions by thermometers, rain gog, barometer, and other instruments, but the study of Climate depends on the systematic collections and analysis of data and is called climatology. Okay, good. Mute yourself. But we are having less than one minute. Okay. So here is the next paragraph. And I want to say you thank you. And take care of yourself. Your meeting is going to be end. Okay. So if you are having any query, you can ask me in the chat box. We are having some seconds. अगर टाइम मिला तो मैं आपको बिल्कुल उसको आंसर करूंगी अगर कुछ पूछना है तो जल्दी से पूछ लीजिए विल बी बैक ऑन नेक्स्ट टू नेक्स्ट वीक नो ट्यूसडे से क्लास अभी वाले ट्यूसडे से क्लास नहीं होगी बेटा दिस वुड बी योर ईद वीक नो क्लास वुड बी हेल्प ठीक है उसके 